Devour. Devour. I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. All right, everyone. DSP here, and welcome to a new edition and a very different kind of DSP tries it. Fast food, fast food, right? Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I was at the local grocery store this past week getting my usual, uh, you know, restocking of food for meals and stuff. And I just saw something on the shelf, and I said, I've got to try it. I mean, who wouldn't? Want to try a breakfast cereal tie-in with one of the most successful Disney movies of recent memory, Frozen. I mean, who wouldn't want to try some Frozen? Let's face it. It's just, it, it, when I see the movie Frozen and that cast of characters such as that somehow brought to life really deformed snowman oh, wow. with, with mental issues and the <laughs> strangely human characteristic imbued moose, I think... I want to eat that in my bowl in the morning, fortified with vitamins, minerals, and of course, preferably some milk. So yeah, this actually exists, um, and I couldn't believe it when I saw it, and I was like, what the hell, like, why would they make this? And I remember when I was a kid, the Disney movies that were out that were famous, like The Lion King was the biggest one at the time. I don't remember if they had a cereal or not. I remember The Lion King had, like, huge tie-ins. They had, you would get a Happy Meal at, at, at Burger King, and it would be, like, you know, all merch. But I don't remember specifically a breakfast cereal. I think they had toys in the cereal for those movies. So what is frozen breakfast cereal? It's sweetened cereal with marshmallows, of course, because if your small children are going to eat cereal, you got to have some kind of ridiculous amount of sugar rush in there. It is snow and ice crystal marshmallows, not just snow. Not just ice. This isn't like one of those cheap knockoffs that would only have one or the other. This is the authentic one. And you definitely know that it's authentic because right here at the bottom of the box, it says learn more at Dis DisneyMickeyCheck.com. There's actually a Mickey Check protocol to make sure that your frozen cereal is legitly made by Disney. That is right. In addition, as you can see, it is filled chock full with vitamins and minerals that probably go right through your child's digestive tract and out their butt within five minutes. <laughs> so yes, and I, this, I've always found that this is hilarious too. So here's your ratings or your, your ooh, it's not focusing, your, here we go. Your nutritional information, just the cereal, and then they feel the need next to it if you put milk with it. <laughs> well, no, just get, you know what? I'm sorry, 7% potassium for today is too much for my child. I'm just gonna give them a bowl of dry cereal. So they have their 2% potassium. Really silly. But, uh, and then of course it is important to know that Frozen Cereal is an official sponsor of the United States Olympic team. Alright, so, would you like to try some Frozen? <laughs> yes. Alright, so first of all, let's open up the box. I can't get here. You hold the camera. Are you, are you gonna open it? I can't open it. I won't open it. I'm gonna wuss. Not with one hand. The, the one thing that's important to note here, before we even start. Oh boy. The box is only eight ounces. It's the skinniest cereal box I've ever seen. Actually. Yet it was full price, meaning this box of cereal cost over three dollars. It was like three, four dollars. Yeah, it is thinner. Yeah, because look here, this is a standard cereal box that you would buy, okay? Standard cereal box is around 15 ounces. So this is about half the size of a standard cereal box, maybe a little bit more than half, but they cost the same. So just because you're buying frozen, you're paying a premium price tag, okay? Yeah, look at that. Jeez. All right, so frozen cereal at first glance, what does it look like? It looks like, I don't know, are those Olaf nuts or those uh, <laughs> moose, moose noses? I don't know. What are those supposed to be? I like the ratio of marshmallow. I don't know what those are actually supposed to be. In relation to the movie, it just looks like a generic kind of, you know, piece. I don't know. All right. So let's go. We'll judge this. Let's take a look at our first glorious pour of frozen cereal. There we go. Nice heaping portion. That's probably way too much. I'm probably not going to eat all that. In fact, now this is funny. So that was almost half the box. I'm not even kidding you. One bowl of cereal is about half this box. Yet if you read it, it says, servings per container, seven. What? <laughs> How can you get seven servings out of this box? If you're giving your child one ounce of cereal in the morning to eat for breakfast, they're probably going to be freaking hungry. I'm just saying. Some All right. Your children. So, we're going to do our 1% low-fat milk. I prefer a little bit of, of fat in my milk. Organic, too. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. 
There you go. A little bit of moisture on top of that cereal. What, you're there not gonna go. put water on your cereal? All right. Well, no, that's only again if you're, you know, if your child eats the one ounce of cereal, you probably don't even give them milk with it the either. The one chick in the U.S. soccer team does it with milk. Oh, with a water instead of milk. All right. So hold on. I actually need a spoon, don't I? I might actually want to get a spoon to eat my frozen cereal with. Can't believe this exists. <laughs> so here can. you go. You got. I guess this is supposed to be. Hold on. Snow and ice crystals. So I guess the white is the snowball, mm -hmm. and the blue is ice, diamonds. Uh, I guess. I guess, you know, kind of a knockoff of Lucky Charms with only two marshmallows. Lucky Charms has way more marshmallows All right, than here we go. So here I am with my full, ready? My full morning hairdo. Oh! I want to be sure this was authentic, so I purposely just woke up, didn't do my hair. It's ready for my official testing. My official Ugh. testing. This looks awful. Of frozen cereal. This looks already the marshmallows are melting into the 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 milk. So that's a good sign. Wait a minute. What's going on over there? Hamsters are arguing and making noise. They're excited. They want to see what it's gonna taste like. All right, frozen cereal. First of all, it smells oaty. Very oaty yeah, aroma it does. to it. It smells like honey nut Cheerios almost. Only without the honey. Look, there's no hamsters are fighting. Look. <laughs> what is going on? What if we try frozen cereal over here, you two? Calm down! What is going on with us two? <sighs> we want to try some frozen! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Oh, I want to fuck her brains out. I have no fucking self-control. My first taste of frozen cereal. This is going to be great. I'm make sure I get both diamonds. No, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Both snow and ice. Marshmallows mm. in my first scoop. Marshmallows? Marshmallows. Ah! There we go. Devour. Devour. I'm gonna take one more taste. Hold on. Oh, God. Before I give you my opinion. Hold on. I'm gonna take one more taste. That's it. I'm going beast mode. Ah! You feed, feed me more. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Phil has gouty fat butt. Devour. Devour. It's, it's gross. My disgusting pig-like mouth. Do you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? Let it go, let it go. All right. No, it tastes exactly like Lucky Charms. It does. It tastes exactly like Lucky Charms. It's pretty much exactly Lucky Charms with only two colors of marshmallow and their generic oat flavor. Devour, devour. I think it's General Mills who makes Lucky Charms. I think so too. So I'm trying to think, what would be a comparable Kellogg's? This is Kellogg's Frozen. What would be a comparable Kellogg's cereal that does marshmallows? And none is coming to mind right now, but I'm sure that they do one. So think Lucky Charms, only twice the price, half the cereal, with Frozen characters on the box. So you can sing your favorite Frozen songs as you eat the cereal in the morning with your children. Yeah, I'm sure the parents don't hate that, you know, 500 years after the movie. Yeah, and it's so funny, look. we It's half the bag. One cereal bowl is half the bag. So, you know, if your child actually eats a full bowl of cereal, you're gonna have to give them, like, you're gonna have to buy specifically small cereal bowls. <laughs> so that your child can get more than two bowls of cereal out of this, but it's nothing great, it's nothing, it's not terrible. Like I said, it's just like a typical children's morning cereal. I wouldn't eat this as an adult. I'm gonna eat it today. I wouldn't pick this, you know. When I was a kid, I liked the, the one that had marshmallows in it, and it still tastes. It's funny that it still tastes the same. It really does. It tastes exactly the same as say Lucky Charms when I was a kid. I don't like Lucky Charms. All the marshmallows would melt. Well, that's what's happening. See, you can see now they are. Look, they're they're melting in the milk. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna give frozen cereal a very mediocre 2.5 out of five. It's not terrible tasting. It's not bad for you. It's vitamin fortified like all other cereals. But the fact that it has a premium price tag. Just because it's frozen, right? It's a joke. Like, why does this even exist? The movie is two years old now. And the fact that people would go out and buy but this cereal... But they're making a sequel. I don't, it's a movie, you know? I don't get it. But, I mean, I'm sure there are kids that are insanely in love with Frozen. They're still talking about Frozen two years later. I was kind of crazy 
He infatuated with Lion King for like a year or so when Lion King came out, so I guess I could kind of understand it. But I give it a very mediocre 2.5 out of 5. It's not great, and uh, it basically tastes like Lucky Charms. They are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually going to raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know to all too well, gout. Gout, 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 I learned the hard way, okay? Now what ended up happening was, I ended up getting an acid level, uh, imbalance back in 2015, which I didn't know I ever had, but apparently it's hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. Feels the gabby fat but Feels the gabby fat but Devour. Devour. That's it for this. You try it. If you would like to try some Frozen, you can get it at your local grocery store. I hope you enjoyed another dance. Be tries it. I'll see you ah! next time.